Good morning. Well, my task at hand is going to be to make a coupler so this magneto can bolt in place where that magneto fit on the 60. And I need to make a coupler so that this drive will match up to the driving flange that that one matched to on the 60. And I intend to make that coupler out of a piece of this strap and using my milling machine, which consists of a side grinder, and a file. So the first thing we have to do is line the two mags up so we can measure the distance for how long that uh, coupler has to be. Normally couplers between mags and the drive look something like one of these but this coupler is going to be entirely different. So time to get at it. So fortunately the bolt pattern on the bottom of this mag and the bolt pattern on the bottom of this mag are identical. But I'm just going to be bolting this mag on with two bolt holes, shifting it over to this set so that my coupler here doesn't have to be near so long and it'll be easier to make. I don't intend to keep this on there anyway. I want to eventually get that mag working. So by lining the two mags up with these pieces of threaded rod, I threaded them in this one farther than necessary and then threaded back into this one to hold them lined up. Now I can put a straight edge across the two drive flanges and measure how long my coupler has to be. So my coupler has to reach from in these slots to, out, to the outside edge of that uh, drive ear. And this normally this, this mag, most mags have couplers like I previously showed you in between the drive flange and the mag but this one had no kind of additional uh, coupler. This, these ears on this flange fit right into the drive flange on the shaft. So my coupler has to fit from in these into the uh, slots in that drive flange. So I, I can measure now how long my coupler needs to be. So I measure from this the bottom of this slot to the edge of my straight edge and I have and I have seven eighths of an inch from here to here. Now I have to add on the length of these. And there I have another seven thirty seconds. So seven eighths of an inch and seven thirty seconds would be one and three thirty seconds long my coupler has to be. I have my adapter scribed out on here. You can't really make out what it's supposed to look like. You'll see it after it's all cut out. So I got to get at that. Well, here's my coupler. Uh, these ears are designed to fit over the flange, the drive flange that's on the crawler, and then this should fit into the slot where this fits into on the crawler. So now it's time to load stuff up, go to Baraboo, see if it's going to fit on. Uh, I'll bring all my bring some tools with me in case it needs some additional grinding or filing. So we'll see oh, you there. Here I am. Back at Baraboo, here the 60 is uncovered. First thing I'm doing is reinstalling the original mag and turning the engine to number one, and I'm gonna turn it just until the impulse clicks. And then I'm going to install the other mag in the same position at just the point where the impulse releases and see how that works out. Now I have impulse engaged and turn it till it clicks and I hope you can see the rotor that you'll see it jump. Now I can hear compression leaking on number one 
right there it released now it released with this hole just past that bolt and I'm gonna put on the other mag and see where that one releases with the timing that's in it well and here it is I'm getting very close to attempting the first start uh, you know I tempted it the other day pulling it and nothing happened and I just quit then because I wanted to get different mag because the spark was very weak and intermittent at best so I got a mag off my farm all regular has very hot spark now I made this adapter here it bolted right on the bolt holes and the height was right I made this coupler to couple it to the cat uh, I've checked and rechecked the timing about three or four times and also I had the impulse engaged and cranked it to the firing point and then would release the impulse like that let's see if we can do that again I would release the impulse and it would turn and it would give a good hot spark at at the right time and let's see what else did I do to prepare for this here and adjusted the clutch and tightened the pinch bolt so that the clutch is staying adjustment it has a good sharp snap now but I'm sure that will loosen up incredibly fast as the rust wears off the clutch because it is going to start I'm confident and uh, so I think the next will be a video of me actually trying to start it and as I said I'm going to try it a couple times with the bar first I just can't resist before I try pulling it so we'll see how it goes here in a little bit I'm waiting for a couple friends to show up to uh, witness it first what I've been going to do is uh, prime the cups priming cups uh, push the button down on the carburetor to flood the carburetor somewhat then with the mag off on it crank it through some and then I'll make the mag hot and give it a whirl so here in a few minutes we'll see how it goes also now also I it says to start with the throttle partway open so I'll have the throttle set partway open and I turn the idle speed screw in a little bit so if it starts the governor should bring it down and it maybe run at a higher idle so we're gonna see how it goes in a few minutes well I'm gonna see if it does it makes any noise <laughs> Now that radiator says best, could that be a best 60? No, oh, the plates say Caterpillar. Oh, they do. Best. Okay, so somebody the replaced the radiator best. then. Oh. oh, let's see. Pump some gas in the priming cups. So if it does run, it's only going to run the water or gas out of the carburetor? Well, I have a little in here. I have a little in this container up here. Oh, you got a container up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah the vacuum tank. Yeah, it says... I want to go through all four, go through four compressions through. There's a compression.
que... Longer bar. I heard her that was a fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. Let's do one more and then we're gonna leave. Enough of that. We're going to wait and pull it. <laughs> well, it did fire one time out through the decompression pet cot, but we're going to pull it. I haven't got that much in me. Well, now we're going to try pulling it. drove and steered I don't have coolant in it yet so I had to shut it down but I've only been waiting 50 years as I said other times this is a smile on my face <laughs> 